Yeah, yeah, bird. Uh, you say you're from South Central, right? Said, yeah. He said, well, I want you to uh, answer this question. He said, uh, I want you to give me the name of the last Mexican governor of California. Okay. And and he said, you had, if you from South L.A. and you came north to come downtown, you had to cross the street with his name on it. Man, I named, uh, 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 I named all kind of names, you know, the Mexican names of different places, you know, and I couldn't get it. And the reason why I couldn't get it, okay, now he gave me the name. He said, he said, Don Pio Pico. Pico. <laughs> okay, and the reason why I couldn't get it, okay, if you go down Central, which I would go to go downtown, okay, and you're, go you're going north, Okay, you got Coca-Cola Botany Company right there. Looks like a big old ship that went up like a ship. And, okay, if you're going north and you're in traffic, the street sign is over there that, that's coming this way. Okay, I never, ever paid attention to the street sign. Right there it says Pico. Okay, but Pico runs out at Central. It does not come back in to uh, the other side, other side of Sears uh, down there. Uh, Alam uh, by Alameda, yeah, where, the, where the Sears is. It comes back down from uh, Barrio Nuevo. Pico, Pico starts back in over there. And, and, I, and that's why I never seen it. And he, and, and he tells me, uh, <clears throat> the last Mexican governor of California, he said, he said yeah. Uh, and, and he said, and plus he was black. The Pico Hacienda is over there. It's called California Historical Monument Number 187. Now, the Guy did ask me that question because I named the last Mexican governor of California, and I, and I couldn't find out who was and the Coca Cola bottling company Pico Pico Boulevard ran out right there on Central and and Coca Cola bottling company, <clears throat> and it didn't come back in till you came over there by Barrio Nuevo, back down from Sears, okay, and I went to the Pico Hacienda. Okay, I uh, took two of my younger kids, I took one of my older daughters years ago, okay, and we saw some Pico, some members of the Pico Pico family, and from a distance, okay, we have a saying, they know the truth. We seen these two ladies, and then we seen this guy come, and, and he sat next to her, and he told me, I forgot what his first name was, he said, but Pico Pico was my great-great-grandfather. And he had, he had this cur real curly hair, and those ladies had that curly hair. We have a saying that uh, they know the truth, you know, and such and such and so. And and, and he told me, you know, and he told me that. Uh, see, the guy in jail told me Pio Pico was, was black. Okay, you know, you know, he was, you know, he he had black in him. He wasn't just black. Okay. Now, when they first opened up the, uh, opened up the Hollywood Wax Museum, okay, I was in Hollywood. That's years ago. And I'm w walking down Hollywood, I said, "Oh, let me go in." The museum. I go to the museum and they got statues everybody they got Pio Pico. I go over, I look, I see this dude with the white hair, the eyes and the the pinkish or whatever color you want to call that skin. I said, damn this ain't Pico. I got a book on the shelf that talks about Pico right now. I said this ain't Pico. Okay. And so uh when I meet the guy, the the, the, the uh, great grand great great grandson, he, he tells me tells me about it. Okay, now for all of you guys who never, I mean, you probably been to Olvera Street. Okay, at some time or another, black black white otherwise Latino whatever you want to call yourself, there's a plaque. Tom Bradley had that plaque put there when he found out about Pio Pico. Okay, it's a plaque. It's the founders. Of Los Angeles, okay. It's supposed to have been a uh, how many people? Twenty-one people. Okay, it was two Spaniards. Uh, one dude was a Filipino, actually. Okay, and sixteen of the people, if you include the kids, were black, but they came they came uh, from Mexico. They 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 were Mexicans of nationality. See, when the person said, uh, "I'm an American." That's like and when a Mexican say I'm a Mexican, the only thing that means is that you came from from Mexico someplace. That ain't telling you or anybody. Or if you say you're black, well, black what? 
you know, from where, you know. See, it's where you came from, it's what you are. You know, your color is just there. You, now, you could have been born in one place and be something else. But ethnicity-wise, you know, where your family originates at, uh, and such and such, and so that's that's what you actually are. So and, and so at that plaque down there, when Tom Bradley heard about who Pio Pico was, he put that plaque down there. Okay, also, like I said, the house, 605 Freeway. 605 Freeway and... Uh, what you call them, Pico Haciendas right there. Uh, for those you uh, people that are interested in education, like I like in my second second thing I did when I first did with KM, I put education. For you guys that are interested in education and history, real history, you should go to some of these places sometime. Take the kids and all that kind of stuff, and you know, and you see it's all about the kids anyway. You know, you, you know, especially your, you, you got, I'm talking to the girls too, matter of fact. Okay. And also, there's, uh, Pico was enemy to, uh, one, one, uh, well, I can't think of his last name. He was a black dude too. He was the governor in front of Pico. Okay. And then they were enemies though. Also, uh, the Pico house and things down, that's down there. You get a chance to see a lot of stuff about California itself. I know we talked about Lil Watts before. Yeah, Lil Watts. Somebody asked me if you had more details about Lil Watts. Okay, Lil Watts. Okay, like I I, I mentioned before, uh, a dude from from the Winter Reese with me, and he's from Slauson. Uh, he got those funny eyes. Uh, damn. Okay, uh, when I work gang service, me and Marianne Diaz. Okay, that she was my co-partner. Okay, we went to Little Watts. Okay, over there in Hawthorne, and uh, and so th these people, we see all these guys turn around. I see this one black dude, and said that he got he got a half a pint, got a forty house, okay, and uh, got some weed, cigarettes. <laughs> There's about eleven dudes standing around it, baby. They called him Baby. Okay, and uh, I can't think of his righteous name. So he's talking. And he's kind of, you know, I'm kind of off to the uh, right side of him, slightly toward the back. And he has this little particular voice, Wayne. Well, I said, yeah, what's happening, man? He said, yeah, what's happening with you? Who are you? So you don't know me? You know? He said, well, I don't know. I said, in 1959, I said, what school did you go to? He said, I went to Reeves. I said, yeah. I said, you don't know me? I said, where are you from? He said, I'm a Slauson. I said, well, you're a Slauson? You don't know me? And he said, Bird? I said, yeah. And I said, he's the one that, that gave the name to Little Watts. Okay, now, he, he, he used to live down there by Slauson Park. Okay, and uh, I don't know if his mother uh, put him out the house or, or vice versa or his aunt or somebody. But, okay, what happened is his aunt moved to Little Watts, and moved to, you know, where Little Watts is, okay? And so when he, <clears throat> excuse me, when he moved up there, at the time that he moved there, and that's in the, in the very first of the 60s, I think, or uh, last of the 50s, okay? And uh, what happens is, it was no sidewalks, okay, and such and such and such, and such right where he lived at. Okay, and he used to live in Watts when he was younger, when it when it was no sidewalks, and said so did I. Okay, and, and such and such and so on. And uh, he said when it rained, you know, you was in trouble, and blah 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 blah. And so he told them dudes up there, man, this is this is just like Watts, it's little Watts, and that's and that's where they got name it came from a black dude, baby. Yeah, that's where the name came from, little Watts. And so when I wish you, uh, matter of fact, one day I'm gonna go there and see if a few of them dudes are still alive. So when I left gang service and went to youth authority, Mary Ann was still working. And she said the guys used to ask about me all the time, you know. <laughs>